Kaiser de Bello Gallico, Book fa- 5, Chapter 25. Taking up the uh, plans that Caesar had, that everybody would be about a hundred miles away from each other, so within about a two-day march, of a uh, quick march, unfortunately, plans happen and plans change, because there was, among the Carnutes, a Gallic tribe, Tasgetius, having been born from the highest location, or in the highest location, a nobleman whose ancestors, his Maiores, the Maiores, the ancestors of whom had obtained the kingship in uh, his own uh, state or in their state, because Sua always goes back to the subject phrase. Caesar had restored the situation of his ancestors to him, whose him, Tasgetius, on account of the virtue or the valor of him, and on account of his uh, goodwill uh, in him or unto him, because he had been of use, he had been useful, dative of reference, for uh, remarkable, uh, with remarkable assistance. Uh, he had been useful, ablative of respect, perhaps, of uh, remarkable assistance to him, of him, in all the wars. So, The whole story is uh, Tasgetius, whose uh, family had lost the kingship uh, among the Carnutes, uh, was uh, buddying up to Caesar as the local uh, new power base. Uh, He had done some favors for him, killed, raped, murdered, pillaged, you know, the typical favors. And so Caesar had given him back his position. Now, Everybody in the royalty or the former uh, ancestors have been in charge of every uh, major Gallic tribe forever because it's given to the most strong, uh, the biggest, baddest, mean, uh, mofo. And the result is Tasgetius had uh, lost out and had allied himself to Caesar so therefore, Caesar gives him some payback and puts him in charge as a client king or a puppet. Well, that didn't go over too well among the Carnutes, as it says, his enemies slew him openly, reigning uh, now the third for the extent of the third year. So therefore, they slew him opening. This is why Regantem is referring to Honk. Uh, and also... Uh, with ablative absolute clause, many uh, actors also out of this nation. So it's not just his enemies, but there was a conspiracy. Similar to Caesar, doesn't realize, ironic, that he'll be facing the same situation later. That matter is reported to Caesar. He, having feared, uh uh-oh, fearing clause, that or lest the nation would... uh, revolt by the instigation of those guys because the affair, the matter, was uh, pertaining, was relating to more or many more people. Quickly he orders Lucius Plancus to set out, compliment clause, into the Carnutes with his legion out of Belgium and uh, to winter there. So the legions uh, wintering are also to pacify things. Now, what's the problem? Because uh, Lucius uh, Plancus is outside of Belgium, and this uh, nice network that he had set up where everybody was a couple fast days' march from each other, uh, now there's a weakness up there, up north. So the Caesar directing that there's going to be problems there? Hard to tell. Or is there going to be problems in Belgium, or is there going to be problems with Tasgetius? All right. So, and he also orders him to send those seized on to himself. Who are those seized on? Those uh, people who killed him. Uh, so he wants you to arrest these people and send me, send them to me uh, by uh, the work of whom uh, so he might, uh, this is a tough one, to, so he might have known Tasgetius having been killed. How do we put that together? Seized on him by the endeavor of whom uh, he, uh, why is this subjunctive? That's a question. Uh, this is clearly an indirect statement clause that Tisketius 
had been killed, so that he might know of whom by their work. Uh, that's a tough one, you know. So let's look at it. Uh, having seized uh, those people, seized uh, in the work of whom he recognized. Uh, this is why it's subjunctive. It's subordinate to an infinitive, perhaps, or is it perhaps a relative adverb, uh, relative adjective clause of purpose? Uh, by the work of whom, so that he would know um, who killed Tastigetius. Ah, so he might have known, uh, that's why this opera is here, by the work of whom he might have known how Tastigetius had been killed. Tough grammar. Meanwhile, he was made more certain, or he was informed, in direct statement clause signal, by all his legates and his questors, those are the people who were second in charge, the money guys, to whom he had divided the legions, indirect statement clause, that uh, it uh, there had been an arriving. Notice when you have Latin, you oftentimes have the impersonal passive uh, to indicate an action. It's almost like a gerund, the arrival. But, you know, that's a kind of a construction that you have to get used to, that there had been an arriving into winter quarters and... That the place, indirect statement clause as well, munitum, participle of muni, uh, munio, to fortify. You don't have essay here because it's oftentimes missing. Uh, or you could take the essay from up here. That the, uh, that the location had been uh, fortified for winter quarters, by winter quarters, probably for winter quarters, dative of uh, purpose. All right, so... Back in the story, we're dealing clearly with a, um, uh, that was people passing at Starbucks. Kind of cool. So uh, in the story here, we're dealing with um, what Caesar's done is he said his plans were very intricate, very designed in the last chapter. Now he's saying because of this plot to overthrow Tesketius, his puppet king, he's got to send a legion out of that carefully constructed net of fortifications and he's got to send that legion to pacify uh, the area he had just left. So it rather puts an interesting string on things. Will the action occur with Tasgetius, or will the action occur back in Belgium with all the forces he had uh, dispossessed uh, to make sure that he was have, having that all safe? It's an exciting chapter. We're swinging up. We're winding up into the pitch. And uh, what will happen next time? Tune in next time, true believers. And until then, Excelsior!